Since our framework is a Jewish framework, it is important to look at all four layers with one assumption. We can't mix and match the four layers without agreeing that the Peshat will hold the foundational ground to our discussion. If we deviate from the Peshat, we can find many clues and secrets in the Hebrew Bible as one can point to a picture of Messiah from any verse of the Bible. Okay, now later he says, now keep that in mind, then down just a little bit he says, on the other hand, in order to get a true portrait of Messiah and his identity from a Jewish understanding, we must consider the entire Pardes framework, especially if we are to understand Yeshua as the Messiah. Can I? Can you hit the ding button? <laughs> can I? Of course I can. Okay. <laughs> From a Jewish understanding. Yeah, and now, and this is That's where... That's a straw man. There's no... Yeah. There's, is there this monolithic, like, J- Jewish understanding? No. That's, that's what he's trying to do is he's trying to say from the authoritative understanding that I am in, that I am going to tell you, and it's a Jewish one, but there's no one Jewish understanding. Um, that's unless he means, yeah, I mean, it, it, it is words. It's word games. If you ask me, it's word games. Okay. So let's, so uh, let's that let's, passage from Paul talking about the traditions, which we, gave you, handed over to you by mouth or by writing, uh, and somehow stretching that into rabbinic oral Torah, and then saying, you know, from a Jewish understanding, these are pretty, you know, you can't build on this kind of thing. Okay. It's not to build your house on. Okay.